In this video, I will show you how to create a fully functional Mac portable USB drive on a Windows computer. This new and improved method works perfectly with all macOS versions from macOS Sequoia to macOS X line. For demo, we create a macOS Sequoia bootable USB drive, but the process is the same for other operating systems. And the best part is, we will be downloading all macOS installers directly from Apple, not from any third-party source. This is important, as third-party downloads can be risky and may contain viruses, keyloggers and other harmful softwares. So, if you want to create a secure and fully functional macbootable USB drive on Windows, this video is for you. Let's start the video with basic requirements. So, what do we need? We need a blank USB drive, a window computer, and an internet connection. The size of the USB drive depends on the macOS installer size, but a 16GB USB drive is usually sufficient. Please note that this process will erase all data on your USB drive, so make sure you don't have any important files on it. First we prepare the USB drive and then make it bootable. To do so, open the window command prompt as an administrator. Please don't worry, we keep things simple here. We just copy paste or type a few easy commands. If you prefer not to use the command line interface, I will show you a simpler alternative shortly. Anyway, type the command disk part and press the enter key. Now type list, give a space and type disk and hit the enter key to view your USB drive number. You can identify your USB drive by its capacity. In my case, it's disk 1. In the next step, we have to select our USB drive. So I type select disk 1 and hit the enter key. Disk 1 is selected. Now we need to clean the disk. So I type clean and hit the enter key. After disk cleaning, type the next command convert gpt and hit the enter key. This command will convert our USB drive into GPT scheme. Next, type create partition primary and hit the enter key. And we are done. Our USB drive is now ready. If you found the command line interface difficult, you can do the same with just a few simple clicks by downloading the free software Paragon Partition Manager. The link is in the video description. After downloading, open the software, select your USB drive and click on convert MBR disk to GPT. Then click on convert and that's all. This simple process converts your USB drive into a GPT partition scheme. After preparing the USB drive, the next step is to download the macOS installer from the Apple server. To do so, open the Microsoft Store and download the free software called Python. Make sure to download the latest version available. After downloading Python, visit the GitHub website to download the open core zip file. The link is in the video description. Basically these files assist us in downloading the macOS recovery image from Apple server. After downloading, extract the downloaded file. Now open the folder and go to the utilities folder. From there. Navigate to the Mac recovery folder. Next we need to open the command prompt in the same directory. To do this, either 
right click on the folder and select open in terminal or click on the address bar type cmd and press enter now we will enter the command for downloading the macOS installer which varies depending on the version of macOS you are downloading to find the correct command for your desired version visit the link in the video description this page includes commands for all macOS versions from macOS X line to macOS Sequoia I want to download macOS Sequoia so I copied the Sequoia command however you can copy any other command based on your needs anyway paste the command into the terminal window and press enter this command will download the macOS Sequoia recovery image directly from Apple server when the process is complete you will see a new folder named com.apple.recovery.boot in the same directory. Now our USB is already prepared and we now have the macOS installer. Now let's create the bootable USB drive using Transmac. Although it's a paid software, but its trial version is more than enough for us. After downloading this software, run it as an administrator. Now on the left hand side, right click on your usb drive and select restore with disk image click on these three dots and navigate to your downloaded folder from there select the base system tmg file and open it click on ok to proceed this process will restore the macOS Sequoia recovery image to the USB drive, making it bootable. Once the process is complete, click OK. Let's check the drive. You can see that the USB drive is working perfectly. We can now install macOS Sequoia using this USB drive on any macOS Sequoia compatible Mac. Please remember to connect to the internet during the installation process. Hope this video works for you. If you love my efforts, please hit the like and share button and consider to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.